Hello guys, welcome everybody to Purple A's Podcast. I am your host, who bleeds purple and gold, Isaac here. Today, Vikings fans, is a good day. Vikings improve to 2-0 after a big time win over the San Francisco 49ers at US Bank Stadium. Final score, 23-17. The box score may suggest that the Vikings it was a close game. It wasn't really, to be honest. The Vikings outcoached them. They outplayed the 49ers. Kevin O'Connell, Brian Flores played chess while Kyle Shanahan and Nick Sorensen were playing checkers. The Vikings absolutely killed it out there. What an amazing game, man. I am so stoked after this, man. And I said before, the Vikings would lose. I mean, they just... I feel like they won pretty, I mean, they're a big, they're a good team now. So starting off, let's, let's not waste any time, shall we? Let's start off with the offense, Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold. Honestly, he was 17 for 26, 268 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Yes, that interception, okay, yeah, was on him though, but... I mean, it, it was either a good play by Fred Warner or it was a bad, you could argue that it was a bad play by Sam Darnold, but through and through, honestly, Sam Darnold actually played really, really well, honestly. He didn't, he, he doesn't have to have, you know, 400 yards per game, like I would say, but he was still very efficient. He came in clutch when he had to. The 97 yard touchdown, bomb absolute beautiful pass with double right beautiful pass to Justin Jefferson for that and also how about that second to last drive by the by the Vikings third down you don't have Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison on that drive and he still made the necessary throws he made I believe two or three third down two or three third down conversions to, to get them into field goal range. Sam Darnold was absolutely balling out. I mean, bro, like, it just, it was, it was an amazing day for Sam Darnold. I mean, he doesn't have to have those big time games, but I tell you what, though, he doesn't have the biggest numbers, but I tell you what, He's absolutely made a very good case for himself. And against his former team too as well, he is balling. Ty Chandler, amazing game by him. 10 carries for 82 yards, 8.2 yards a carry. He was moving the sticks continuously, running the ball down the the 49ers throats and absolutely great, man. He He was great, obviously, man. And overall, as a whole, the run game as a whole with Aaron Jones and Ty Chandler, and I mean, Sam Darnold was contributed to 146 yards on the ground, 6.1 yards per carry against the Niners defense. Wow, man, that was such an amazing, they were amazing. Justin Jefferson I mean, he had four catches, 133 yards, and a touchdown. He is still him. That 97-yard touchdown, I mean, there are three people that I credit for that touchdown. I mean, Justin Jefferson burned both the safety and the cornerback at the same time while being bracketed. He turned on the Jets, beat him with his speed. He was wide open as daylight. Touchdown. For 97 yards, his longest in his career, he is still the greatest. I mean, it's a good thing, you know, that Justin Jefferson's injury is not too serious, which is good. So, I mean, hopefully, though, he is healthy, though, but we'll see, though. Great game by him, obviously. Jalen Naylor. I mean, Jalen Naylor was clutch, too, as well. Three catches, 54 yards, another touchdown, another big-time touchdown, I believe this is the second game in a row where when the Vikings turned the ball over, he scored a touchdown every single time where he was just wide open. That is the effect of Jalen Naylor. He can make plays too as well, especially keeping the sticks going 
on the second to last possession on third down. Really great play by Jalen Naylor. Also, the offensive line didn't do half bad as well. Although, yes, they did allow three sacks, but through and through, I mean, the run blocking was great. They absolutely did a very good job, especially something that we haven't seen scre effective screen passes by the lead blockers. Amazing. I mean, the run game and the pass and the blocking for the screen passes for Aaron Jones and Ty Chandler on point. Really, really good job. And also, the Vikings also moving the sticks. Speaking of moving the sticks, the Vikings were 7 of 12 on third down attempts. They were amazing. I mean, and also, how about Kevin O'Connell, man? Bro, listen, man. This is my guy, man. That I've been I've been absolutely critical of this dude last season, rightfully so, because he was not uh, he was playing great. You remember how I said basically sometimes in situations he would get conservative instead of being aggressive. Well, let me tell you, the reason why he's credit he's credited for that ninety seven yard touchdown also, because of why. He instead of doing it in the shotgun formation, he full on did a play action pass. Hey man, to do that with to do that instead of doing a play action pass, that is amazing. That is so amazing by um Kevin O'Connell to do a play action pass. That took guts. And also to basically milk the clock. I mean even if he channeled his inner Mike Zimmer, you know, going into the red zone, even if he did the run, run, pass, defense, defense, defense playbook, I'm good. I'm good. He was aggressive the whole game. He outcoached Kyle Shanahan by miles today, man. Yesterday. Yes, he did. How about the defense? How about the defense, man? I mean, it's been the story the last, last year, and it ha certainly has been the story this season, yes, it has. They, the Vikings defense got 11 sacks in two games. Six sacks against the Niners offensive line. That's impressive. They, they only allowed two of 10 on third down attempts. And I believe one of three on fourth down attempts. I mean, you talk about adjusting. Like, I'm basically, this is the biggest thing for me that Brian Flores did really, really well, in my opinion. That's the, this is the biggest thing. Jordan Mason, yes, I know Jordan Mason had 25 carries for 100 yards. That's not good. But you know what? Jordan Mason in the first half had 72 yards. Completely sliced up the Vikings defense. But in the second half, they forced Brock Purdy to throw the ball, and they stopped the run. Only They only allowed 28 yards in the second half. Wow. Talk about adjusting. Like, bro, like, Brian Flores, like, there's no question about it. Brian Flores is absolutely such an amazing defensive mind. He is absolutely playing with fire. They had another two turnovers, and you forced Brock Purdy to throw the ball, which is what you needed to do. And the only reason why the 49ers scored their two touchdowns was off of two red zone inter turnovers by the Vikings. And the defense was out there for most of that game. I mean, bro, like, Brian Flores deserves a ton of credit for this season, man. I mean, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He has coached this team and he, they are playing with intensity like no other. And can't forget about the individuals. Blake Cashman, man. Blake Cashman, he balled out. Boy, did he ever. 13 tackles, one sack, three pass deflections, two TFLs, and one interception. He was all over the place making plays. Third down, he had a... On third down, he had a pass breakup on a tight end, I think it was, or wide receiver. He had a tip pass to Josh Metellus for an interception. And 
He was just making plays left and right. And so was Ivan Pace Jr. Stuffing the run and ab- on Jordan Mason on third down to stop in the goal line. Josh Metellus, seven tackles, one interception. He was amazing. He made some big time plays on the run game too as well, not just the pass game. Patrick Jones, absolute amazing. I mean, two sacks, one forced fumble. I mean, he w- he's, a, he's a good edge rusher. The edge rusher is elite for the Vikings. They are elite. Even without Daniel Hunter, they it's not even close. Harrison Smith, five tackles, one pass deflection. Another red zone stop. Another fourth down stop by Harrison Smith. Where it was fourth down, broke up a pass on fourth and goal at the two. Amazing, stout, I mean, stout play by Harrison Smith. He has still got it in him. Andrew Van Ginkle, back-to-back phenomenal games. Four tackles, one sack. He almost, and he did, and yes, he should have picked that another screen off, which would have been another pick six. But he also had a sack. He's, he's not only a tough football player where he plays physical football, but... He is a smart player. He is smart, too, as well. And that's absolutely a great element to have for Andrew Van Keel. Special teams, can't forget about CJ Ham And that blocked punt on the after the 49ers punted to give the Vikings three points. The speed that he had, he has no business doing that with the size that he has. He has no business doing that, but he did it anyways. Man, I mean, CJ Ham had a bad game against the Giants after the fumble. Made up for it. I will take that. How about Will Riker too as well? That it's you cannot forget about Will Riker. He was he was nails. He is nails. I feel like this dude is the kicker for the Vikings to break that curse. Two for two on extra point attempts, three for three on field goals. Including that that clutch, that clutch field goal to put the Vikings up by two scores, up twenty three to fourteen. The Vikings were down, and you know what? It was in Blair Walsh territory, twenty seven yard line. You would, if it was Blair Walsh, he would have missed that. But not Will Reichard. Will the thrill? Oh yeah, man. I see Will Reichard, man. Awesome. As far as you know, some things the Vikings really need to work on is the turnovers in the red zone. They need to stop. The Vikings left six points off the board. The first one being the Sam Darnold interception. If you want to blame KOC, you know, and say, well, we should have ran the ball, you know. Okay, that's fair. I I can see that. But I'm going to more blame that, you know, on Sam Darnold just because it should have been an arc to Trent Sherfield, where he would have made a play, but instead he just threw a laser where it was contested between Fred Warner, and Fred Warner wins that all game long. So, I mean, eh. But I'm not going to eat Sam Darnold's lunch. He played pretty well. And also the Aaron Jones fumble when the Vikings were up 27, where where it could ice the game. It could absolutely put the game away, but it was a screen pass to Aaron Jones. What looked like 20 plus yards, he fumbled the ball at the two. That's not acceptable, man. I mean, this game should not have been close at all. But, but, they still got the dub, man. I, I don't, I can't tell you enough how excited I am and how much fun I am watching my team play. And it, it it's exciting. I mean, I'm a lot of lost for words, man. I mean, this year in 2024, I thought this season was going to be a bust, but it's going to be a special year. Even beyond. Even beyond. Man, I am all, I am hyped up right now for the rest of this season. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Skull.